good morning children welcome back to our videos so children see when we plan out when we think of going somewhere what do you do you plan out first isn't it and then because you should not forget so what you do you write down in a paper or in a book you jot down all the points you keep uh, keep on writing like no what are the necessary things you have to take and then what are the incidents which you have done you know like what you want to do everything will be written so and that book or some people have an habit of writing full day you know what happens they write and that is called a diary now here in your eighth standard book you have a lesson called a short monsoon diary so we'll see what is a diary and what why this lesson is written and who has written it do you know what a diary is it's a record of a personal experiences written day after day over a long period of time you can also use a diary to note down things you you can note down things you plan to do immediately or in future one of the most famous diaries published as a book is the diary of anne frank here are few examples from ruskin bond's diary in which he portrays the silent miracles of nature and life's little joys and regrets so this the famous diary is the diary of anne frank that was published in a form of a book and here the diary which we have in our lesson as a part of a lesson is a extract from ruskin bond's diary and they have taken you know he has mentioned about the nature some silent miracles of nature and life's little joys and regrets so actually he they have taken only few extracts not everything not his full diary some few parts of the uh, lessons you know the diary extracts so the first date which he has written is june 24th the first day of monsoon mist and it's strange how all the birds fall silent as the mist comes climbing up the hill perhaps that is what makes the mist so melancholy not only does it conceal the hills it blankets them in silence too only an hour ago the trees were ringing with bird song and now the forest is deathly still as though it were midnight so here the poet the writer says the first day of the monsoon mist mist is what a small you know everywhere you find tiny droplets of water on the ground that is mist actually ice is little big you know like you you find those granules little big mist is like watery droplets and it is strange you know all the birds were silent and the mist comes climbing up the hill because everything is covered with ice perhaps that's what that's what makes the mist so melancholy now melancholy means what very sad why because it makes why it is called sad or very melancholy because it makes people feel sad you know like it you know there some people are not happy with that because the nature doesn't look lively you know it becomes very cold and all it conceals the hills conceals means covers it covers like a blanket it blankets them in silence too it covers them blankets them conceals the hills mean covering the hill blankets them in silence means also covering the hill and because of that mist and all no like people don't come out you know see even you all have seen in winter season and all early morning you know you don't feel like coming out because it is very cold so only an hour ago the trees were ringing with bird song so slowly as the mist dries up then you can see the birds song and now the forest is deathly still as though it was midnight and the writer says it was because of that mist how was the nature there it was very quiet it was like midnight through the mist biju is calling to his sister i can hear him running about on the hill side but i cannot see him now what is the writer saying there he is saying biju is a boy in this lesson he is calling 
his sister now the writer can hear him calling but he cannot see him now why he could not see him because of the mist you know it has become you know it the mist is so much that it is like you know like how we see clouds you know like smoke like and you cannot see the person outside so and he says you know he can the biju is calling he can hear the voice but the writer could not see this biju because of the mist so children i hope you all understood about the 24th june what the writer is writing now we will move further to 25th june some genuine early monsoon rain warm and humid and not that cold high altitude stuff we have been all year the plants seem to know it too and the first cobra lily rears its head from the ferns as i walk up to the bank and post office the mist affords a certain privacy a school boy asked me to describe the hill station and the valley in one sentence and all i could say was a paradise that might have been now june 25th what the writer is saying he says some genuine early monsoon rain warm and humid and was that cold high altitude stuff we have been having all year round now this cold then the monsoon rain little bit humid like everything is there on the high altitudes you know very high mountains and all the plants seems you know even the plants know that it is cold and for the first time you know it is this time the first cobra lily comes out it puts its rares means comes out it puts its head out to just grow to start growing fern fern means what a flawless plant with feathery green leaves so ferns are there and you know he could see those ferns coming up growing slowly in this climate and when when he sees all this when he is walking up to the uh, bank and post office and the mist you know it it needs the writer is saying the mist needs certain privacy a school boy asked him to describe he said you know the boy asked him to describe him about the uh, monsoon so what he said to describe the hill station and the valley in one sentence and all i could say was a paradise that might have been so when the boy asked the writer how can how will you describe the hill station in one sentence so what did the writer say he said a paradise that might have been now paradise means what heaven so it might have been you know he says that you know the way he if you put in one sentence the writer is trying to say that it is like a heaven so now this is june 25th now we'll move further to june 27th the rains have heralded the arrival of some seasonal visitors a leopard and several thousand leeches yesterday afternoon the leopard lifted a dog from near the servants quarter below the school in the evening it attacked one of biju's cows but filed at the approach but fled at the approach of biju's mother who came screaming imprecations as for the leeches i should i shall soon get used to a little blood letting every day other new arrivals are the scarlet minevets the females are yellow flitting silently among the leaves like brilliant jewels no matter how leafy the trees the brightly colored birds cannot conceal themselves although by remaining absolutely silent they sometimes contrive to go unnoticed along come along come a pair of drongos unnecessarily aggressive chasing the minavets away now in 27th june what the poet the writer is trying to tell us he says you know this this is the time when the arrival of some animals you know the animals try to move and there are several thousand leeches you know leeches they are a soft you know like smooth some insects are there you know they are little bit like a worm and these are you know they suck the blood 
so the writer is saying yesterday afternoon he saw one leopard he took killed one he lifted one dog from the servant's quarter when he was going he saw that and in the evening he attacked one of biju's cows so these you know the mother the mother came running out to see what the um, leopards are doing you know to shout at him because the leopard was killing the animals and as for the leeches what they do they are used you know they suck the blood and the you know some doctors you know some there are some ayurvedic doctors and all they use this leeches therapy you know they those who have some problems on the leg you know some skin infection and all they use this leeches therapy you know they keep the worms there and those leeches they suck the uh, dirty blood you know affected blood from the body so you can see those blood letting you know every day the leeches are waiting to sit somewhere or to take the suck the blood other new arrivals are some um, you know minavets now here they have given you you know like minavets are bright red bird it looks like a cuckoo and filtering silently among the leaves with brilliant jewels and the trees you know no matter how leafy the tree will be the birds bright colors cannot conceal them you know the birds bright colors are there you know they are seen though it is silent everywhere even though the leaves are green but you can see the beautiful bird sitting there unnoticed and then comes a pair of drongos drongos is a song bird with a stout bill it has one you know pointed um, fur like you know which and then unnecessarily aggressive chasing the minarets away so he he is trying to put away this bird this song bird makes the noise and comes and he tries to put away this minarets that is the bread bright red bird which is like a cuckoo so they these birds you know, and then you can see you can imagine the different changes which are taking place and then a tree creeper moves rapidly up the trunk of the oak tree snapping up insects all the way now that the rain side here there is no dearth of food for the insectivorous birds so finally the birds are very happy because the tree creeper what happened you all know what is a creeper isn't it is a plant which needs support to grow so there are so many creepers you know which they take the help of the tree to grow so you can see those creepers you know they are entangled with the trees you know they are turning around the trunk of the oak tree and then they are trying to this and what about the insect the insects are also there but anywhere there are many small insects and all you know the food for the birds many birds come and go on eating and also in, especially the insectivorous birds you know who eat so they come along and they can eat those insects so anyway very soon it's going to rain so definitely this is going to be a happy moment or a good period for the insectivorous um birds so children i hope you all understood now we have finished in the diary june 24th june 25th and june 27th the writer has explained so i hope you it's clear like three days you know he has mentioned what are the different changes how changes have come across and now they have given you two questions on the comprehension check why is the author not able to see biju now why is the author not able to see it is because of the mist because everywhere the, it is covered the full earth that place is covered with the mist and so biju is not able to see the author is not able to see biju second one is what are the two ways in which the hills appear to change when the mist comes up so what are the two ways in which the hills appear to change when the mist comes up so which are the two ways when the mist will come up what will happen yes some visitors you know when 
a leopard will be there and several thousand liches will be there then the bright red bird you know the minavets will arrive the drongo will, will arrive and also there will be lot of food for the insectivorous animals so these are the things so children these two questions you have to write in your fair book and read the chapter properly the three days of diary which we have completed so see that you'll read properly and complete the answers children so okay we have completed the first part of the lesson second part of the lesson we will see in our next video okay children bye take care and complete your books